And it was improvised, this thing. So I wanted to show what I could do. So you had to improvise your way into this movie or out of this movie. And depending on what you did or didn't do, you were in it or not in it. And so it was a very weird structure, but um, dysfunctional group, actually. It was it was not super fun. Sandra Oh was in it, Daryl Hannah. Sandra Oh and I got to work together. She's so wonderful. But I auditioned. So you had to make up a character. So I made up a character and came in and a friend of mine helped me because we knew it was in the stripper world. And he was a male stripper, a gay dude, one of my best friends. And he helped me make up this character. So I brought this character in and, and oh my God, it was in a theater. So they had all the people auditioning, just sitting in the theater. And watching you, you. Watching you. That sucks. It sucks. I like to be by myself with nobody. I don't want people to hear me. Yeah. I hate that. It's horrible. And you're stuck there for three hours because each person is going down doing their thing. Right. Then I got a call back. So in our world, you do the same thing you did. You don't change your shirt. You don't change nothing because you want to do what you're doing something right. Doing something right. So I go back in with the same character and they're like, what are you doing here with the same character? And I'm like, wow, you really want me to make up another character? Like you can just, you know, like like I'm on freaking SNL. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, I auditioned for that too. So anyway, I did make up five characters for that. But oh, that was that was an interesting day. Wow. You got to love actors. We're game, man. But back then, did they at a certain point make you take off your shirt to see if like- So then- Because they can't do that now, right? No, they can't do it now, but they did because then- um, Michael called me and said, he said, they said, all right, you know, Michael was there. They said, all right, you do the same character. And, but I did different stuff because it's improvised. Mm -hmm. So that's also awful and terrifying. So then he called and said, I want to have lunch with you. So he said, look, I love you. I want to hire you. You're incredible. But I got to have Daryl Hannah because she puts butts in seats. And she's also incredible. But I had gotten there first, but, you know, her name came in and then I had to step aside as you do. So then I get a call that, so they've been in rehearsal for months, improvising in this crappy theater on Santa Monica, months in a room, stripping, there's a stripper pole, the whole thing. And they call me and say, it's our last day Friday. Show up and bring what you got and we'll see if you can, we can work you into the movie in a scene or two. I sit there for like five hours in the hall, trying to stay in my head in whatever character. Then they go, come on in. And the other girls are all dancing and the music's on and they're pretending that they're in the, oh God, even worse. First it was play improv games. So they, they all know the improv warm up games. I've never done improv. So to me, this is just stupid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So. I do the stupid improv games. And then then we get to, well, we're in the the, re the rehearsal room. And so it, it becomes that I come in and they all hate me. And I'm like, okay, do they really hate me? Or this, are we improving? Okay, we're improving. So Daryl Hannah doesn't really hate me. But, but there was no like, hi, Kristen, nice to meet you. Just Welcome went, to our go. crazy crew. It was like, I walk in the room and they immediately, they were living it. I'm like, okay, not used to that. Um, so then I just went, all right. So then they go, yeah, this is Nico. She's going to be headlining. So I'm like headlining. Okay. So I'm the headliner. So this whole thing evolves. And then everyone starts taking their clothes off in this. I'm, I'm auditioning. So I go, fuck it. Take my clothes off. In it, the audition. In this, this improvisational room. Yes. You just took your shirt <laughs> off. Yes. And your pants. Yes. You got naked. Naked. And everyone else did. Yes. You're nude. And so I'm there nude with everybody. How many people are in the room? There's like all the actresses from the thing, like six actresses, the director, some other producers. We're all just naked. And Not you them. said, fuck it. I said, fuck it. And you did it and you weren't scared. I was petrified. I was shaking. And I was like, okay, this is the film. And I am I was just being crazy and brave, I guess. Really more brave because this was the role. And I knew that. So, and they're all naked. So I'm like, all right, you know what? You want to, and, and they're being- Was Daryl there? Yeah. She was naked? Naked. What? 
on the pole. She was crazy. Daryl Hannah's naked, going crazy on a pole. Yep. You're naked. Everybody's naked. The producers. Ha- this has to be the best day of their lives. The best day of their lives. And <laughs> and they might have been in their like perverted lives. Yes. And they might have been. I don't remember who else was like had on bottoms or someone had a top on or whatever. But we were all like pretty much in our skivvies. And then I get a call going, you're in the movie. Okay. <laughs> Damn. And they go, so you're playing a porn star and there's going to be an outline. So I get the outline script and it says no dialogue or anything, but it was like Nico goes on stage to do a strip tease and it's so incredible. No one wants to go on the stage and follow her. That's and I'm terrifying. like, no pressure. Now these girls have been for three months in stripper school. I, I call and go, uh, what? How, what do I do that is better than the splits, which I can't do? And what I saw Daryl doing on the pole, Sheila Kelly, who produced and starred in the movie, started you know the strippers, the exercise thing, S curve or something. It's called. Yeah. All around town, these housewives are are in L.A. on poles, doing exercise classes on a stripper pole. That's her. Her, she's made probably millions. She's so good. She's hanging upside down. But you had no classes. You had no experience. Nothing. You just got up there and winged it. Nothing. I can't even touch my toes. I'm not flexible. Neither can I. I mean, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding? What am I supposed to do? But you did it. They go, well, figure it out. So I hire Michelle Pfeiffer's whip trainer from Batman. No joke. And I go, dude, Teach me a whip routine because I can't touch my toes. I can't do pole. I went to stripper school for a week and was and hurt my shoulder. <laughs> I, I mean. Have you seen the scene? Yes. And did you like it? It's so, it's so over the top. Because here's what happened. After months of working with the whip guy, and I even rehearsed on the set, I show up and I they've lowered the ceiling, all the lights are hanging down. And on the day, I can't do my whip routine. Because the whip hits the ceiling. Because the whip hits the ceiling. So you had to scratch that. I, I. Oh my God. If I would have known what a panic attack was, I would have known I was having one, but I could barely breathe. I was like, I have nothing. Then they bring in all the extras. Then the room is lit brighter than an OR because on film it'll look darker. And there's a hundred people there and I have no routine. And I'm, oh, and then oh I had gosh. picked the song, Echo and the Bunnymen. Yeah. But they couldn't, they said, we can't play the song because we're going to have to put it in later in post. And I'm like, uh, oh my God. I can't do this. 